just everybody just quickly this is Danny from Lidgate Lidgate's Butchers and he's going to be showing us a, a, a lamb breakdown just quickly Danny what I might tell you is I've, I've been cooking one of the the, the butterfly legs already how's that look yeah they're going they're going well the butterfly legs of lamb they're beautiful um, yeah. they're really popular as well and, and, and the shoulder, especially of this lamb the shoulders are really popular and they don't yeah. need quite as much cooking as normal but the, the legs of lamb are so soft beautiful okay okay so Give us a little bit of a background on this lamb, then. What what what, what makes it special? That to me, so, it seems larger. But um, what yeah, the... it's really the start of the spring lamb. So spring lamb um, is younger lamb at the moment, which it really comes into season about April, and it's always a bit of a race to get it in for Easter. Um, so we have a farmer um, which is uh, who does really really well just to get these lambs sort of really good, uh, really good quality, very consistent. Um, and we generally always have three Easter, which is good because the uh, the old season lamb is a bit bigger and darker and not quite as tender. Well, it's got a nice flavour of the old, older season, but the spring lamb is really what you want to be eating at Easter. Okay, okay. And it, is, is it a particular breed or anything, or or, or what makes it spring yeah. lamb? So, so basically, this is this is a Suffolk Cross uh, lamb, um, and we have a farmer um, who who breeds these in a place called Wantage, um, which is uh, in Oxfordshire, and um, He's been doing it probably now for about 20 years, and we've been dealing with his lambs for that time. And sadly, actually, sadly, that the farmer died last year, but uh, his, his main guy, his white hand man, has carried on with the family and continued the farm. So it's a bit of a kind of romantic story now as well. Okay, great, great. Well, well, good luck to them. It sounds like yeah. they've uh, no, no. products. And then the, the one that I've got in, I just had a little sample while we were talking to you, mate. It's, it's super special, super tasty. So. Yeah. Yeah, I tried one of the shoulders last week uh, on a Sunday roast. It was it was beautiful. It was really, really beautiful. So, what in, that, what in that lamb and the way that it's grown? What's that going to do to the flavour and the taste when people cook it? How is that going to affect? I, I mean, I think I think really the 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 supreme thing is going to be the tenderness. It's got a gentle flavour. It's mm. not like when you cook um, mutton or when you cook a, a an older lamb, you get this really strong lamb flavour. This doesn't have that kind of punchy flavour. But what you get is that sort of like fillet steak tenderness, real tender kind of um, gentle meat. <coughs> okay, okay. Sorry, I just had to check my lamb. Don't but, worry. Okay, so it's going to be a, a, a lot tenderer and a little bit juicier as well. So, okay. Well, I'm really looking forward to it. So, um, you're in the butcher shop there. Yep. The butcher shop and, and, and uh, what, are you, what are you going to show us in a moment? Right. So, yep, we're, we're in um, the Gates Butchers, Holland Park Avenue in uh, West Devon in London. We're going to break down one of these lambs. We're going to show you the different kind of cuts that we have from the lamb, um, how we use them and how we suggest we use them, and also other uses for them for and different sort of things. For example, some of the cuts that need more cooking, like the neck of lamb or the breast of lamb on an older lamb, you don't need to do that on these because they're much more tender. So, for example, a neck lamb fillet or neck cutlets uh, of a spring lamb is really, really juicy and can pretty much grill in 20 minutes. If we did that with an old season lamb that's one year old or come out to one year, it's going to be a lot chewier and tougher. Right. Wow. Well, okay. Okay. No, it's, it's interesting to know that all of the different cuts, it, it, it varies. Yeah, uh, a little bit. Different characteristics. Yeah. Okay. And uh, so what have we got there? Uh, and, and where did we start? Right. So first we're going to do is pull the breasts off. Breasts are a pop. I like breast of lamb. It's a nice, it's a nice economic cut. Normally underrated. I mean, basically, if it was a if it was cattle, you'd be calling it brisket uh, at one end. So it gives you the kind of idea that it is actually you know a nice piece of meat. And as you can see here, this is a, a sign of the lamb's colour because uh, an older lamb now is going to be much darker than that. This is a kind of paler, pinkier, uh, brown kind of um, colour, and we can see it more as we cut through the, the eye muscles as well. So I'll take off the other side. That's interesting. I didn't know about the brisket side of things. Anyway, the, the lamb would similarly have one. Yeah, yeah, and it's exactly the same, basically. Uh, so we'll go through that. So that's the other. That's the other breast. What we tend to do with these sometimes. These are quite nice barbecued. If you, especially of the spring lamb, because it's tender. If you slice them through and marinate them, it's kind of like pork spare ribs, but with lamb. Um, and that's quite a nice, nice, nice product to do. And with the spring lamb, it's softer, so you don't have to pre-cook it, whereas, or cook it for a long time. All right, now we're going to take the shoulders off. 
Right, so. And this is where we get a kind of first sign of the, um, of the eye of the meat, which is what you see in a sirloin or um, a beef or, or rack of lamb, or you kind of get that round circular muscle. Yeah. Strip yeah. loin, yeah. So you can see here, we can see as well, it's a nice, oh. nice color. And that's as well shows us this kind of quality. What we look for in lambs is the color of that meat. And we also look for the lamb on the back here. So we particularly want a quite nicely covered lamb. So we don't really want to be seeing the, the, the sort of back muscles coming through. We want to see fat that means it's protected. So it means as we age it for about five or six days, we've got a nice covering of fat to protect the meat. Also, when we cook it, we've got a nice level of fat that's going to give the meat extra flavor. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, and now we'll take yeah. off where the racks come from. Yeah. Now, is, is this the, the, the Barnsley chops as well, or have yeah, I... So, so Barnsley chops a little bit further up. This is where we'd have lamb cutlets uh, and racks of lamb, which is a, a very popular um, part of the lamb, especially in, in restaurant trade. Yeah. So basically, if we were doing these into racks, we'd just saw down here, saw down here, take this bone out and French trim this part, and that okay. gives us a rack of lamb. And then we're gonna cut. This is, so this is the saddle or the chine. And right. this is where we get Barnsley chops from. We'd also do stuffed saddles as well as a popular thing that's coming to butchery. Okay. So what we'll do, we'll take the legs off first. And one difference as well, in the UK, we, we cut a leg of lamb like this. Other parts of the country, I'm sorry, other parts of the world, tend to cut longer legs. So they'll leave what we call the chump on the leg. But basically, hey, this is incredible. So that's our two legs. And a sign you've cut the legs in the right places, you catch these two little uh, glands, these are the two little marks in the fat there, which means that's the, the right place for the legs. And then we have the saddle. So what we would do with the saddle is we take the we take the chump off quite often here. Yeah. That can either go as a lamb rump or as um, a chump chops. So basically, so that's what we'd have the Barnsley chops and you can sort of see how that would be. Um, if we cut it down the middle, you get like a loin chop. And then the chump of the lamb, which is basically the same as, as rump of beef, mm. It's a fantastic piece of meat, uh, and often you see it in restaurant menus. But it's a really nice either as chump chops, or really nice as the bone out. Just about probably feeds one hungry person or two two less hungry. <laughs> I, I, I could eat a whole one. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and that's kind of a nice little nice little barbecue joint there as well. Boneless lamb rump. Ooh. That's beautiful, mate. Yeah, yeah. It's still plenty of nice pat on the on edge yeah. there. And that's basically the breakdown of the lambs. Um, and really, why? What? The, well, one last piece actually is the shoulders. We can take the shoulders off the neck. So, yeah. Do. And there's basically just a seam that holds the shoulders on. Okay. So that's that's our neck of lamb there, which again at this time of year you can get a really nice kind of cutlet. So basically you cut through there, and you'll end up with a really nice little neck neck cutlet. Shoulder of lamb. These I find tend to be a bit smaller than the um, the older season ones. So there's quite a big difference in size sometimes between the shoulders. But the base that would be the shoulder of lamb. Perfect, perfect. That's that's Great lovely. Barbecue. Slow that's cook. It. Nice. And, really, and that's the whole lamb, really. <laughs> yeah. Wait, you make it look so easy, champion. It, that's <laughs> a, ridiculous. That's really good. And and the beautiful, beautiful lamb. You can see from the meat, it's sort of nice and firm, and you know, it's cool. Yeah, Proper. it's quite it's quite special. Uh, and and you do notice the difference as you get sort of six weeks time. The lamb yeah. tends to get a little bit darker. This first sort of start of the lamb especially from this, our farmers tend to be really, really, really consistent, which is great. Okay. Okay. Oh, good news. Good news. All right. Well, um, 
yeah, on, on that note, we've um, we might we, we might sign out from everyone because it was fantastic to see all of that, mate. Um, you no, know, no, thank you for coming. You're very welcome. And everybody, this is Danny of Lidgate, um, you know, down in Holland Park. There, feel free any time to drop by and check out their store. Got some amazing, amazing stuff. I can't wait to try my lamb that uh, uh, I need to take off here fairly soon. Um, and see how, how how wonderful that is. But uh, thanks again, mate. Thanks. Uh, no problem. Thank you very much. All the best, mate. Have a great day. You too. Take care.